Hello, I'm Angela Webb, the author of Pegs to Paper. I'd like to talk you through how to use the resources for the Exercises for Handwriting extension, designed as an intervention tool for children with special educational needs aged five and above, who, for whatever reason, are still making errors in their handwriting. These exercises focus on specific aspects of handwriting, so misformation can be targeted, explained, and then corrected. Within the series of exercises, four main errors are covered. Shape, size and alignment, spacing, and slant. When children make errors writing their letter forms, this is either because they don't perceive the lines correctly or because they can't perform them. These exercises teach the three types of line, the straight, diagonal, and curved and provides an opportunity to practice them before reconstructing them as letters. Straight lines across. The child should make a line of pegs across the top of the board, moving from left to right. The pegs should then be copied as circles onto the dot sheet. Remember to circle to the left. The circles now should be joined to make a continuous line. This should be repeated on each row of the pegboard until there are 10 rows of circles. On a blank sheet of paper, put a dot for the start point down the left side. The child now draws straight lines across from the start point on the left across to the right. Make sure the lines don't cross. Spacing errors are common when children are learning to handwrite, but if they persist up through the primary school, then this writing will be harder to read and needs to be corrected. The rule is that spaces between letters within words are very small. The letters sit close together. But the spaces between words are larger, usually the size of one or two letters. Children may not be able to judge space or perceive the differences. And these early exercises help them to practice that. Begin by asking the child to place 10 single pegs on the large pegboard so that no peg is very close to another. They may need to adjust things and to look more closely. When they are happy that each peg is on its own, then this can be copied onto a piece of paper as circles, again making sure the circles are not close to any other circles. There are several exercises which asks the child really to perceive space in this way. The later exercises focus very much more on text. So we take a simple sentence, my dog is big. Four words with three spaces. This can be represented on the top line of the pegboard. So the child takes two pegs in a single colour for the word my and places them next to each other. Then they leave a space before they put the three pegs for dog in a different colour along the line. Then a space. Then two coloured pegs for is followed by a space and three coloured pegs for big. The spacing and the pegs on the pegboard should be very obvious. The child then copies this pattern as circles on a piece of paper. So they have two coloured circles close to each other for my, followed by a space which can be represented as a, a dash or a horizontal line. Then three pegs close together for dog with a line space, two for is, line space, three for big. If the spacing is accurate, you can move on and then ask the children to copy them as letters. If, however, the spacing is not correct, you can repeat at this level with the circles and the lines until the children are able to perceive and reproduce the spacing accurately. Once that's achieved, then you can move on and ask them to copy it as single letters and spaces, this time without the line guide. As children increase their handwriting skill, letter size becomes more consistent, usually around the ages of five to six years. The bodies of the letters should be of a uniform size and the ascenders and descenders the same height. The bodies of the letters should sit on the line. Children whose handwriting continues to vary in size and alignment may need help either to perceive the alignment or to reproduce them accurately. By using pegs to represent the letter bodies and the height and length of the ascenders and descenders, 
children are helped to create a mental image of the correct alignment and size. Write out the first 10 letters of the lowercase alphabet for the child to work from. Using the 10 by 10 pegboard with the printed black line to represent the writing line, ask the child to reproduce the letters with pegs. So A is represented by one red peg on the line. B by one red peg on the line with one green peg above it. C is like A, D is like B, etc. G will have one red peg on the line with one blue below it. Ask the child to record the pattern with the coloured circles first on the dot sheet and then onto plain paper with a writing line drawn on. They will very soon understand that the bodies have to be consistent and that the ascenders are one peg taller and the descenders one peg lower. Once this has been mastered, you can then ask the child to work in the same way with the next 10 letters of the alphabet until all the letters have been covered. Whether handwriting has an upright style or whether it slants forward or backward is a matter of personal choice. However, research suggests that where slant varies within a piece of writing, legibility can be compromised. All vertical strokes should be parallel so where this is not consistent, it should be corrected. Making vertical lines on the pegboard and copying them onto paper is the first step in improving slant consistency. Ask the child to place 10 pegs of one colour down the left side of the board. Then ask him or her to make the next line half as tall, i.e. using five pegs, starting in the middle and going down to the bottom. Continue this pattern of 10, 5, 10, 5 across the board. Copy this pattern onto paper, first as circles and then as continuous lines. Following this, the child should be asked to draw these straight lines on a fresh piece of paper. Consistency of slant can therefore be monitored. Finally, select words from the children's own writing, which contain ascenders and descenders, and ask them to write these words out, giving particular attention to making all the strokes parallel.